Hey, you babe. Uh, you know how awesome I am, so, uh, here goes nothing. You know that thing I did last time? I thought, what if I evolved even further and I got something even cooler that I could do? So, I've been learning how to channel my sparks and really make the sparks fly. W wait, I don't mean it like that. Don't, don't hit me, please. Uh, okay, okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> I thought for sure you're gonna hit me. And I got a little nervous and maybe a little scared and maybe a tad bit shaking in my boots. But you know what? I'm too cool for that, so you didn't hear any of that, right? Yeah, you didn't hear it. Anyways, let's go ahead and make today awesome. I've got so many plans too, you don't even know. I actually wanted to sell one of my, well, not really sell, but pitch my, my manga. You know, the one that I showed you. I wanted to try and sell it at Comic Cat. It's not because I need the money. I just thought it would be kind of a dream come true to show the world indirectly my love for you. Yeah, maybe it's a little perverted, but I don't really pay attention to that. I'm actually a lot better than I used to be. When I was messing around with Mineta before everything happened, I was a big pervert. I'll admit it. But then, well, just know that nobody blames Deku for what happened. I still feel bad to this day. After he started distancing himself, I, I didn't really know how to approach him. To be honest, we were never that close. I was always way more close with Bakugo, and, well, I'm no good with dealing with people that don't really talk to me, and, uh, there's one exception, and it's with you, so, yeah. Basically, what I'm saying is, I'm a social butterfly. As long as you talk to me first, and I have the confidence to talk back to you. In your case, I just kind of pushed myself, because you're really, really hot. I mean, you were... That was the reason at first. Uh, not anymore. I do think you're really hot, though. Uh, I can explain. Babe, don't look at me that way. It's not what it looks like. Hey, wait. You didn't hit me? Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't go over my feet. ha, ha, ha. Ah, no, no, it tickles, no, you know my feet are ticklish, how, who told you, ah, demon, what do you think you're doing, oh my god, I thought I was gonna die, huh. is that your form of revenge now, I don't know how I feel about that, babe, we're gonna have to have a serious conversation about staying away from my feet, they're, not supposed to be this ticklish cuz you know I'm I'm the man here and and I'm not saying you can't be manly but I got to be manlier it's a pride thing and besides that I uh I I just don't want to get tickled I think I'll die if I do you know how it is <laughs> I'm brave but I'm not not superman who is superman anyways always hear about the guy, but I don't feel like he really exists. Eh, never mind. Who's counting? Maybe he's a hero over in America. Have you ever wanted to visit there? I've always thought it'd be really cool to get a hamburger from, well, someplace in New York. Maybe someday we should visit. I'd love to with you. And not to mention, all the cool things we could do, especially if my art sells and I get famous, then I'll tour all around the world. And you'll be my baby, right there by my side. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to eat all the expensive rolls that we'll totally be able to eat together. Uh, I'm not talking about that one time when I got you the sushi roll or anything. <laughs> it may have taken most of my budget, but... Oh god, I think I just talked myself into a corner. Don't worry about that. I'm not some kind of poor slob or something. I mean, I'm the number seven hero. Seven's my lucky number. You know how it is. I'm not pushing it, really. I'm just kind of, well, 
With how things have gone lately, and how up in the air things have been as a hero, I just want something of a backup, just in case. Not that I don't believe in it, it's just when it comes to thinking about doing something that endangers me and thinking about endangering you, I get scared. I don't know how to handle that and I, I wish I did. But frankly, I figure if I get a backup plan, we can just move anywhere in the world. As long as we're stable, that's what matters to me. I just want you to have a good life. Us to have a good life, actually. And maybe someday, we can do all those things, those couple goals. And figure out the world one step at a time. Hopefully you won't hit me too much. <laughs> or tickle me. Please, no more tickles. I see that look in your eye. You're like the devil when you do that. Come on. Don't be the villain. You're not a villain, right? You're not gonna secretly tell me you're... You're all for one or something. In disguise. Oh, well, that'd be a pretty sexy disguise, but... Wait, I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing all kinds of great things today, aren't I? <laughs> uh, don't, don't get too mad, okay? No, not my sides. <laughs> oh no, not my sides, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> it hurts, it hurts. Come on. Uh, uh, I can breathe now. I can breathe. Understood. Not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> but I can't promise I won't tease you back. <laughs> you got yourself a boyfriend who can do both. I protect, attack, and tickle back. Take that. <laughs> Bet you didn't expect that one. Oh, take that. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> you can't fight me. I'm too intimidating of an opponent. Wait, no, I don't like that look in your eyes. Is it too late to say I'm sorry? Uh, uh, well, I guess I deserve that one. Hey, babe, do you ever get tired of me being <laughs> just a bit too extra? Sometimes I worry about it, I'll be honest with you. I get a little concerned that maybe I'm being too too much, too hyper, or maybe too, I don't know, too Pika Pika? Is that even a thing? Can you ever go to Pika Pika? I I've still not been able to realize if you can. Personally, I don't think you can, but I wanted to get your opinion. Hmm. Yes. Well, I guess if you do that, but really. I never knew it bent that way. And then that? Seriously? I feel like I just learned something that anyone should know. Why do I feel like I've had my head in the sand my entire life? You know the ways. And I want to learn. So, um, teach me something cool? <laughs> okay, fine. You decide where we go today. We'll start like that. Keep it simple. Uh, or as they say, kiss because there's an extra s in it what does it mean oh yeah that makes sense why'd you just call me stupid come on don't abuse me like that i mean i can take it but that doesn't mean i want to well you know what maybe i think you're 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 dense sometimes and maybe i get jealous whenever you look at any other human being that's not me Oh, did I say that out loud? It's just completely the truth. But I'll just prove that I'm better than them. I got notes backing me up. And my suave style. And my epic win. At everything I do. Most of the time. Now I'm starting to doubt it. Come on, let's go. Right this way, and... Stop. Don't worry about this. What I'm gonna do next will catch you by surprise and awe. You'll never guess it, no matter what you try. And if you guess it, I, I don't know what I'll do. Did I catch you by surprise? No? Seriously? You saw it coming? Wait, you didn't? Or you did? I can't tell. You aren't telling me directly? 
just have that look on your face. Damn it, I feel like this is a mind game. And you know me, after I use so much electricity on our love. Sometimes I, I, um, get a little stupid. <laughs> I try not to let it happen anymore, but I've gotten a little better. Now it only happens when I go way over the top. If I had to zap maybe like 40 bad guys in a row, then I'd go pretty stupid. Or if maybe I uh, discharged in the water because our boat tipped over, then um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be an idiot for a while. But you know what? Even an idiot knows that you're really special and that you should feel special. I can't get over it enough, but you really deserve the best. Every single day I try and prove it to you, and, well, I wanted to give you this. Before anything else today, it's the first edition signed... Um, well, it's my... my safe for work manga. It's... it's really one that inspired me when I learned more about you. And it's about... when you have a bad day. Here, we can go through it together, I'll explain with each scene and what I was thinking. So in the opening, you are having a bad day because you just lost a pet. It was something you really loved. In this case, Poochie. And unfortunately, it wasn't under good circumstance. Because life had been treating you badly and the family situation at the time, I tried to channel that into something, kind of vent all my worries into it. Because I was thinking about you a lot. There's been a lot of times when I just... I have you on my mind and I have to channel it into something. So I channel it into my art. Because, well, art to me... Is like giving someone a hug. Even when I don't want to. I need to sometimes. It's like... The chicken soup... When I'm sick and... All that jazz. But I... Well... It wasn't very Pika Pika of me, but I couldn't stop thinking about it and worrying about you, so I got it down on that, that first page. Okay, so on the next frame, I came over and I realized you were, you've been crying, and it made me sad. Of course it made me sad. What do you think I am? If my baby is crying... It hurts me. It makes me want to cry. But then I think if I cry, you'll cry even more. And then you'll feel even worse. I think it's better to stay strong. Um, I don't mean not to cry. I mean, I wanted to stay strong so that you could let it all out. So in this scene, it meant a real big deal to me. That I gave you a shoulder to cry on. And I held you close. Do you see this frame? It zooms in on me pulling you into the hug. And I made sure to make it really sweet. That's why I whispered into your ear. Everything's gonna be fine. I promise. I'll zap all those problems away. And then after that, I showed you something really cool. And, well, I've been practicing. I can't really do it quite yet, but I'm trying to practice ball lightning. It looks really pretty to the eye. It's something that I can only sustain right now for the blink of the eye. But maybe with some practice, I can make it even better. I have such a passion for it because it's pretty and practical because I can kind of throw it. It's kind of different than normal lightning. It's like it's got a mind of its own and I have to contend with it. Uh, but I'm getting distracted. Sorry about that, babe. Right back on Shaq. Um. So in the next scene, it wasn't quite enough. Because I wasn't feeling sure of myself. So you ran out. And it was raining. I chased after you, but the rain kept discharging me. So I had to fight against my quirks downside. As I was getting more stupid, I had to focus... So that's why the tears are shown here. I was trying so hard 
to focus that I bit my lower lip. It bled all over. But I... I kept... I kept in the way. I kept from going stupid. Something that I strive for even today. I don't want to go stupid and have something happen to you. It's gonna make me so sad if it does. And I... I don't want that. Not at all. I want you to be happy. And I want to make you happy. It's the pride of my life, practically. More than that, I just... I love you. It makes me happy to say it, but it also makes me sad to think sometimes I might not make you happy. So this was kind of the symbol of it. You running out because you felt embarrassed or that it wasn't enough or that I wasn't taking you serious or something. And then I went for you and I chased you through the rain, the sparks going off my body here. And we end up taking shelter. You got worried about me. And we took shelter under that elephant slide in the park. And as I was fighting against everything, you saw it and you... You were really worried about me. But I said you were kind of a silly for worrying about me when you were feeling so blue. It was about you anyways. But after... After focusing so much... I kind of exploded, holding you close and sucking it up, not letting you feel bad anymore. I confront you in this chat bubble with my struggles too, that we're a team, and that if something makes you sad, I'll be strong for you. That way, if we ever struggle, we struggle together. Through thick and thin, we'll make it. I promise you that. I'll never back down. And no matter who it is we have to face, I'll be your Pika Pika. And I'll be your man. I'm serious about that one. And then, it shows us having a really cool date. We go to three different places. The first one, well, I'm kind of proud of the first one. Because the first one's the Comic Hat. And we go and get the top selling new Dojin. And it makes me so happy, because you're there with me. And you kind of dressed up as a, uh, as a booth. Um, hottie. You know how it is. I just thought your looks were so good, it'd be a shame not to draw you like that. In cosplay. And, well, <laughs> maybe I got a little carried away. It was a little bit fan service-y. <laughs> uh, but, um... Don't worry about that. It's the thought that counts, right? Yeah, it's the thought that counts. So, after that, after selling everything, we go and we collect everything and get an award because it's extra awesome and everyone loves it. And then we go out and have an awesome date. It's one heck of a date. We go to that restaurant that's in the penthouse suite of that really tall building back in town. I always dreamed of taking you there. And I was thinking maybe today you'd go with me. I was hoping, well, this was all an elaborate way of asking you on the date. Because it's kind of eccentric and over the top and, well, I didn't know any how else to put it. And, like, I really want to go with you and it's super exciting. <laughs> please say yes, pretty please. Pretty please with a Pika Pika on top. <laughs> uh, that might be desperate sounding. It's okay to say no if you don't want to. I just thought it would be really cool to show you another side of myself, cause I could be formal too. I got this awesome suit picked out and I even got an outfit custom tailored for you. It's actually on the next page of the manga. It's um, we go to a dance with super high-grade food together to make up for the loss. And I say a really cool line. But, well, the really cool line might have been too much to ask for. At least sometimes. Well, I mean, not really. I, I just... I want you to see me as more than just some jokester. I can be formal and I know how to dance, kind of. Well, I've been practicing. 
I want to dance with you traditionally. And at the top of the coolest building in town, that's what I'm talking about. That's like life goals right there. With someone as wonderful, beautiful, and cool as you, that's like my life dream and I can't not do it. But I, I don't want to force you to do it either. It's like a bit of a convoluted thing, but I try so hard. You're amazing and I, I just need, I need you to know that and I want you to feel special. Cause I, I'm aware that you've been through a lot lately. Not everything can be solved with something easy, but I thought it was a start. That it was something that could get through to you. Show you that I love you more and more. And that I don't just care on the surface or I'm not some kind of fair weather boyfriend. I want to show you that I'm absolutely serious about you too. That I want you in more ways than one. And I was hoping that somehow we could, well, become more. I know the idea got thrown around before, but I didn't want it to be something, something so forgettable. I want you to remember every single special day we have, from years to come, until the day we both are old and croak. I mean, I hope we never get there, cause, I mean, I have hopes that we'll live forever. Personally, I don't see us aging or ever becoming old, but you know what, it might happen. And if it does, then I'll be proud to do it with you. I don't even mind. What's a wrinkle to someone as cool as me? I don't even mind. I think age is just a number anyways. And we're so young. We might as well enjoy it and not worry about a thing. And I just need you to know that I'll be your man through thick and thin and these notes aren't just for show. I take them to heart, both in serious things like heroism and other things like this. This is serious too, I, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant like serious as in life or death and then romance as in more of a not life or death thing. <laughs> you get the point. I hope you get the point. But if you don't get the point, then I'll explain it better. I'm crazy about you. And I don't care if me being crazy about you makes me seem weird, because I think love makes everyone weird at times. Sometimes it's too much, sometimes it's too little and you feel alone. And then other times you just don't know how to handle all those feelings that rush to your head and your heart and your soul. It's really important to me is that you understand how very much you mean to me. And that you get that I'm not just here for one thing or the other. I'm here for all of you, thick and thin, bad and good. That's why I want to take you here. It's not just a date, but it's me proving to myself that I love you as much as I say I do. And proving to you that I'll be here no matter what, no matter how many sad things happen in our lives. I want to experience it with you. I can't imagine life without you already and I never want to think like that you're too damn special and well I kind of just think you deserve the best uh, I guess I did kind of talk a mile a minute there so um well you did want to go that's wonderful now we just got to plan everything and have it come out just right. I guess I might be a little too carried away with planning things, but you know what? It always works out most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Like those thugs last time. I'm glad that it worked out. I can't help but think if we ever deal with something serious, I want to be prepared too. So just in case, let's always stick together. Especially with how crazy the world's been. It's not all sunshine and rainbows sometimes, but we can make it that much more Pika Pika. And that much more, uh, at least rainbows. I don't know about sunshine. I don't do so well in the sunshine. 
I burnt to a crisp, to be honest with you. Wait. Hold that thought, babe. There's something really important that I have to take care of. Who's a good tail? Yes, you are. So fluffy and comfy and nice. Oh. <laughs> I can explain. Denki, we don't have to do this every time. What you mean, Ojiro? We're just, uh, I, I just was admiring, uh, um, it's not what it looks like, right, right? It's okay. I just like fluffy tails, okay? No, 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 no. B babe, it's, it's not, it's not what it looks like. I can explain. Bakugo, I don't think you can explain. You should not do this again. What are you saying? I can't live without a fluffy tail in my life. Come on, don't do this to me. It'd be too sad to say goodbye and not be able to pet this little guy. That little guy you're talking about is attached to my body. What does that matter? It's just, it's just a technicality. Come on, Ojiro, don't do this to me. I really need it in my life. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. And baby, why are you looking at me like that? Wait, you're dragging me away? Where are we going? Uh, I can explain. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> uh, I give in. I give in. But it was worth it for the fluffy tail. Okay, okay. Maybe I deserve that, but you know, I, I don't often make that mistake. I just can't resist fluffy tails. And, well, that's one of the things that I... I'm glad you got the quirk that you do, cause... <laughs> I've been too embarrassed to say, but um... Would you mind... Uh, dressing up as... Maybe a kitty for me, or a doggo, or... A wolf, or... or anything like that. I really like tails. And... I mean, as long as it's soft and fluffy, it doesn't have to be attached to you, really. And... I mean, your quirk can make it so... Uh... <laughs> believable. But I mean, it's okay. If you don't want to do that, I mean, I'll just, um... I'll draw it in my manga and, and we'll call it even, right? What do you mean? Don't, don't, don't hurt me. I, I just thought I'd tell you. And it's, uh... Why do you have that sly look? I don't trust that sly look. It never means good. It means you're gonna hit me or do something evil. Um, well, as long as you mean well, then it's okay, right? 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 Baby? Why do you have that look in your eyes? Um... You're not gonna... You're turning my medicine against me? I guess I can't complain. I don't mind having a tail. That's fine too. So, uh... Let's get going, shall we? We gotta go to your tailor and get you something really cool. The outfit that I picked for you. Though there's a few options. So don't feel pressured, and if you really don't like it, we can get something else. I'm not made of money or anything, but I have enough that I'm prepared. Unless you ask for something with, like, gold and diamonds, then I'm probably gonna have to take out a loan or something. Give a kidney, maybe? I don't mind, I'd do it for you. Don't underestimate my love for you, cause I... I do some crazy stuff, just you wait. I don't want to, but I do it for you. So don't you dare underestimate me. I'll uh I'll surprise you. 
Why are you... No. Baby, don't be this way. You're gonna make some adjustments, aren't you? Am I gonna have to wear a suit with a cattail or something? I don't know if I like this sadistic trait in you. It's a little scary, I'll be honest. Well, you know what? Two can play at that game. I'm through getting intimidated by you. I love you to death, but that doesn't mean that I have to take this. You know how it is. You know, I'm, I'm cool and you gotta respect me sometimes too. So what if I don't sound that confident? I, I'm trying my best here. And well, after the tail incident, uh, you, 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 you weren't meant to see me like that. It's a little embarrassing, but I really like fluffy things, okay? Why do you think I play with, play with you so much? Cause you're fluffy and cute and cool and awesome and I could go on and on about how awesome you are. But that doesn't change the fact that I, well, that tail has a special part of my heart. It's not like you couldn't have a better one. You just, you'll never understand. Uh, maybe you will. Uh, uh, who cares? I'm gonna make today better. Just believe in me, okay? Yeah, we'll make it good. See, you're better with a smile on your face. I think I like that look on you. So, um, let's go and get ready. We got a big day ahead of us. Let's get going. Oh, by the way, baby, you're looking fine. Did I tell you that? <laughs> Already did? Well, too bad I'm gonna tell you again. That's just how fine you're looking. If I do say so myself, I'd call you a... Hmm. Now I gotta think of a word to one-up myself. That's half the battle. You're my speci- I mean special. Uh, <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. I can talk English, I swear. <laughs> I'm not shaking in my boots. I'm just, uh, I'm grounded. See an electrical joke. <laughs> don't, don't ever remember that I said speci- What? You like it? Really? I mean, I'll be speci for you, baby. You can count on me. To do what exactly? I didn't think that far, but you can still count on me. Um, anyways, let's be off, my love. We still got a dinner and dance to catch. And here we are. Destination one. Uh, some say it would be kind of an eccentric destination, but I personally think it's something more of a... Hmm. Formal in a way that's approachable. I think that's more my style. You know, because I don't want you to get intimidated by me too much. Maybe set your heart a flutter. I bet I will with my suit. Let's see how you look in your formal attire. No, I'm not being a pervert. I promise. I'm just excited to see you and something that'll make us look like a couple. And a fancy one at that. You know, some people, they got all the money and fame. I don't need that. I just need you. Oh, sorry, did that sound maybe a little too? Hmm. I don't care. I love you and that's that. So, um, wait a second. You want me to go into the changing room with you? you? You can't be serious, can you? I mean, of course I will. <laughs> Baby, this is dangerous, though. What if someone hears us? I am a man, after all, and I just... Seeing you like that and changing its stuff, it may be in public, but... <laughs> Uh, um, well, if you put it that way, I guess I can't disappoint, can I? Hmm. 
Well, I guess I gotta show you. Since you don't take me serious all the time, I guess I'll have to give you a reason to. I'm still pretty shy, but that doesn't take away from my manliness. I'm not obsessed with it like Kiri, but that doesn't change anything. I got the Pika Pika charms. G got it? Okay. Now, I'll just be taking another. Mm. Mm. Uh. Well, I guess if you put it that way, what else am I supposed to do? You too much. And besides, you have too much effect on my body. I can't peek a peek my way out of this, can I? Not that I'd want to. Mm. can't go making a mess now, can we? So then, we'll have to be a little careful. Hmm. I had a good idea. Why don't you... No, stay standing. And I'll just... help you... Mm. Help you out. What do you mean, why am I kneeling? So I can do this. <sighs> you look surprised. Your legs look pretty shaky, too. Makes me want to tease you more right here. <sighs> What's the matter? You look like you're struggling a little. Don't tell me. I've got the better of you. It seems like this spot right here. It's making you quiver. Don't tell me you're... like putty in my hands. Because that's what it's coming out across like. <laughs> Baby, I got you right where I want you. Mm. 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 seeing you. This lacking composure, it just makes me, makes me want you that much more. 
Said, as long as you stay silent, I can do so much more. Are you getting excited that someone right next door could hear you? It is kind of exhilarating, isn't it? What if I use my tongue a little more? Those beautiful hands of yours against the wall. Look into that mirror and watch what I'm gonna do to you. Lift you up like this and set you. <laughs> He's my own. Appreciate it. Does it feel slimy? 
hopefully nice and warm and maybe just a bit naughty. <laughs> well, I'll let you get changed, okay? I want to see you after you get out. And this will be, well, something of a big moment for me, too. See if any of the ones I picked for you are, well, ones that you like. That's what I'm hoping for. That it's something you really enjoy. And that it will be a keeper. So that I didn't make a big blunder and make myself seem less of a man. Or, well, like I'm just some kind of pushover or something. I'm not a pushover. And I'll prove it to you. Anyways, you focus on getting dressed, okay, darling? I'll just focus on imagining you in a pretty outfit. Or maybe you changing. <laughs> I don't... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to... Yeah. Just ignore me for a minute and go get that done. <laughs> you know you love me. And I love you too, baby. Okay. So, over here... And there, and this, got that suit, but how do I do the tie? I've never been good at these. Hmm, it's okay. I know just who can do this. Wait, really? Hmm, oh my God. Baby, you look amazing in that. I, I really can't get enough of you. Please never leave me. You're the best ever and I want to marry you someday. Oh, sorry. I meant to think that, but I do mean it. Don't you get shy on me now. We're just getting started, baby. So, um, how about this outfit on me? <laughs> I know I couldn't get the tie on properly. It's a bow tie, too. I've never tied one of these before, and I've always been kind of bad at it. Honestly, I was just gonna go to a click, but I couldn't find one, so... Really? You know how to tie one? That's so cool! Can you do it for me? That's... wonderful! There, and just like that, I think I get it, and... Wow, you make it look so graceful, and it's just... Tying a bow tie and on my suit. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so happy. So, um. Wait a second. What are you doing back there? To my. my pants. Uh, you're making me really wear the cat boy. You're making me do the cat boy right now. Seriously. Just don't make me say anything embarrassing. No, I gave you the idea, didn't I? Mercy, mercy. I have to choose, tickling or, or saying that. Fine. I don't know how it goes, okay? I only saw that tank video once. It wasn't like I didn't like it either. I just... Dang it. I don't know how to do it right. So, don't tickle me. I tried my best. You want me to say something else? Um... Okay. Okay, fine. What is it? What? You're serious? Okay, fine. Um... You're the best. Wait. <laughs> that was actually... I think that was pretty cute for me. N not to toot my own whistle. It was embarrassing, but... I could at least... Express the cuteness instead. You'll never get the best of me again. Just you wait. I'm... I'm still your man. And we haven't even gone to the dance yet. That's where I'll show you up for sure. I'll get revenge on you, just you wait. I I'll show you that I'm reliable too. I'm not crying. 
I'm just a little shaken up. I'll be just fine. I'll be just fine. <laughs> Shall we? I even get a cool moment here and there. So let's get going, love. Here we are. This is the restaurant. You get to eat first and talk about dancing later. Wait, not really talk about it, just doing it. You understand. I've got dancing shoes. Well, I was born with them. Okay, that's probably not true. Anyone who says they were born with dancing shoes probably wasn't. You get what I'm saying. So, um, dancing shoes aside, what's your favorite meal? I want to get you something amazing. They do so many different cuisines here, because it's like five different restaurants in one. They have French cuisine, Japanese, they have Korean, Chinese, and Italian. And they kind of make their own fusion food too. I'm most into fusion food actually. It's what I like to order takeout usually. Uh, I said usually a lot, but what I mean is, well, that I really enjoy it. And to be able to eat it with you, that's like a dream come true. And your company, and that dance floor, it's such an exclusive place. I had to book reservations two months ago and use most of my paycheck from hero work. I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but look at me go. <laughs> Don't you dare feel bad about this. You're worth that and so much more. I love you. You, you're awesome. And you gotta have some confidence. I wouldn't love you this much if I wasn't serious. And if you weren't awesome. You're totally worth it. Just like you're worth the most expensive roll. You're like the gourmet sushi that costs my entire livelihood. You're like 10 of those. Maybe even a hundred. Maybe even a bajillion. You're worth so much more than all that that I can't emphasize it enough. You need to have some confidence. Like when you're picking on me. Just do that with um, not picking on yourself. And, you know, having a little confidence. You really deserve it, you know. You're an amazing person and I happen to love you a lot. Way more than you understand. But I'll prove it to you. Go ahead and try and doubt. I'll prove it every single time that all those doubts about yourself are wrong. Why don't we start with a little dance then? Well, we haven't eaten yet, so I guess we gotta eat first. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so what you gonna order? Hmm? I'm sure you could do... Wow. Nice. I like that one. You got good taste. I'm gonna order something. Why don't you pick for me? I'd love to order something really cool. Hmm. So the filet mignon. Oh, it's got a surf and turf option. Should I get some lobster with it too? I know it's kind of simple and you can't really go wrong with it, but I just thought it'd be something I could share with you and we kind of eat together. You know how it is. Well, like I was saying, I'm gonna sass you until you understand it. You better not. Go thinking that you're less than anyone else. Because you're not. Not by a long shot. Nobody could compete with you in my heart. And that's what really matters. If you ask me. Cause I'm cool like that. Uh, yeah. I'm confident. Of course I'm confident. What do you think I am? I want to make you happy though. And sometimes I feel like I, like I kind of suck at it. I try really hard, but I wonder if I'm too silly and not serious enough. Cause sometimes, you know, it's easy to be the jokester, but hard to be the real man. You know, the one who's there for, you know, serious stuff too. I gotta prove it to you. I feel like this dance is my chance. 
That rhymed. <laughs> okay. Hey, look, the food's here. Let's give it a try. Hmm. I'm gonna steal something from you if you're not careful. Let's try some lobster. Um. Mmm. That's really good. That's like the best lobster I've ever had in my life. And the steak? Mmm. Oh my goodness. It melts in your mouth. It's so delicious and just right. As for the dish you got, ha, you were too slow. Mmm, that's delicious. You've got good taste, babe. I approve. 100%, 150%, 155%. No, it's not like that. Not trying to be a jokester. I just got a little nervous because to think of where we are and what we're doing. I... I just felt so lucky. And there's been something big on my mind. Though I haven't really thought about it. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I've been thinking about it too much. Not, not that I didn't think about it enough. If I didn't think about this enough, I might have years of my life that got taken away. <laughs> you know, I focus so much on doing things perfectly sometimes that I kind of stress myself out. I know, I gotta learn not to. But it's okay. I'll just make life better. That way, no matter what it is, we won't have to stress. We'll be two peas in a pod. Two pikas in a... I, I don't know what pika's going to. But... Eh, we're cool like that. Mark my words. Woo-wee, that was some meal, but I'm lucky it was light enough. Was yours light enough too? All right, what say you we go dance? These carbs away? I gotta keep my lovely figure, and I'm sure you feel the same. So, let's get on this floor and I'll show you how it's done. YouTube videos? Please don't let me down. You didn't hear that. I was just chanting a mantra that I made for myself. And it has to do with YouTube videos. And ones that I may or may not have studied to get good at dancing. <laughs> okay, I admit it. I was just dancing to K-pop songs. And I only know a little bit of ballroom because of another incident that happened. Yeah, it was an incident at a ballroom. It almost took my life. Don't worry, I, I got this, I promise. The ballroom dancing is right over here. And you look stunning. Beautiful, even. And I, I, I love you. And I want you more than anything in this world. You're my one true love. And I know I'll never get anyone like as amazing as you. So I'm trying really hard not to muck it up. And that's why I have to do this. I gotta dance my heart out before some cool dancing fellow steals you away. Really? Not even if they got super cool moves and they're, they're better than me? <laughs> as if they could be better than me. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I worry too much. I just... I love you so much! And I said that already. <laughs> One step, then two. Uh, sorry. I, I might have actually went into a K-pop dance for just a moment, but that's just habit. You know, second tries the charm, right? Here we go. And a dip. And a swish. And a swirl, and a twist. And we're dancing. I can't believe we're dancing. It's actually working. Oh my god, baby. We look awesome together. I don't know how we're doing it, but wait a second. Are you actually secretly a really good dancer? 
And I'm just being kind of led by you. Somehow I think that's the case. But that's okay. That's okay. I could still redeem this. Um, like this. Better not underestimate me. Or I'll dip you like this and give you a kiss. <laughs> Bet you like that one. And that's not even telling what I can do now. Because I've got a secret up my sleeve. Quite literally. And, well, I gotta ask it because I, I can't not do it. Hey, you wonderful, beautiful person, you. Will you marry me? Yeah, this ring is for you. I want everyone to see. So, what do you say?